welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm the blogger behind BrighterDarling.com. Today's video we are talking all about the April Spring Sephora Spring Beauty VIB sale, whatever they call it. They change the name all the time. Basically, if you're a beauty insider, a very, very I don't know, important beauty insider or VIB Rouge, whatever their loyalty names are, you're essentially going to get anywhere from 10 to I think 20% off your purchase during a certain week or weekend in April. They vary up what they do, but um, it's coming very soon. It's currently the first week of April, so I'm filming this now because I want to make sure you guys have my top recommendations and some things that I plan on picking up during the sale as well. And uh, yeah, I want to make sure you guys are trying out some of the best of the best. So anyway, um, I'm going to try my best to do this in order of like category, but to be completely honest, it might not be perfect. So. <laughs> Everything will be linked below if you're watching this on YouTube in the description box. If you're watching this on my Facebook page, go to my YouTube channel and find this video. You'll have all the details and links to everything I'm talking about there if you can't find it on your own search. So, um, okay, let's start with the face. The number one thing I really want to recommend um, is to actually check out my blog for my 2018 beauty favorites even my 2017, even just favorites in general, just search by favorite category on my blog and you're gonna find quite a few of these items I'm mentioning here, um, but that'll really give you a quick idea of what to add to your cart. But for all intents and purposes, let's start with the number one thing that I thought was such a breakthrough product of 2018. You're probably gonna see this on a lot of recommended recommended, recommended products for this sale. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. It's sold out constantly. So I hope you guys can get your hands on it during this Sephora sale. Now that Charlotte Tilbury is sold at Sephora, which is awesome for all of us here in the United States. This is like such an innovative product. I think it's one of the, I, actually it was the most innovative product of 2018 that I tried. It's a hybrid of a light coverage, tinted moisturizer, luminizing primer, and highlighter. Like, I don't know what else to say about this. It just gives your skin literally a lit from within Hollywood starlet look on your skin. It's just something inexplainable. It just gives you that like it factor, that skin, like that JLo glow, that Giselle glow, that like healthy, I sleep all day. I have a chef that cooks for me. I drink a thousand green juices a day. Like. This is that bottled and like you can be oily skin or dry skin. This looks beautiful. I use shade four medium. It gives a little bit of brightness to my complexion, um, but she has, I think, I want to say it's seven shades, seven or eight, um, but that is what it looks like. You see, it has like just this crazy weird radiance. And again, that's shade four on me. I know shade three medium is very popular. It seems to be sold out a lot, but um, try your best to get this. And if you can't get it on sale, just get it anyway, because it's that good. Um, okay, let me see what the next product is. Okay, next is um, a product that I'm, oops, sorry. Next is a product I'm a little late to the bandwagon on, but as a new mom and just somebody who's very busy, on the go, has no time for like drama and makeup mess, the Hourglass Stick Foundation. This is another one that was really popular for a few years. I finally tried it, mainly because I was nervous that like as a stick foundation and for the price, it's expensive, it's Hourglass and it's high end. Um, I was worried that I would go through it really quickly because I feel like when I used to use stick foundations as a kid, like in high school, shout out to that Maybelline stick that we all used. Um, I just felt like I went through like a stick a month and I, I think this is like $46. I was worried that I would use this a lot, but I've been using this since like November pretty religiously and this is like half of the stick left. So I don't use as much. It has a lot of pigmentation and the coverage is really great and it's so natural. I don't know what video is going up first, but I use this in my 10 minute mom makeup tutorial and that's basically what's on my, it's what I'm wearing on my skin right now, but the mom tutorial, what you see on my face is that skin um and it's mostly this it's this foundation so the hourglass stick foundation so worth it i did have a hard time matching my skin online and even in person it they seemed to run very yellow which i'm a yellow person but even for me i was like oh god so um maybe go to the store if you can and swatch a few to make sure you know what shade to order if you're going to place your order online um, i use shade nude Okay, 
So the next one is another Hourglass product. I've talked about this on my blog a few times. I probably have talked about it on this channel. Uh, it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. I This is Holy Grail for me. This was Holy Grail during my pregnancy. I'm wearing it all over my face now as a setting powder. It just gives your skin a beautiful radiant glow. I talked about this during my pregnancy. I had said that I attributed what people were complimenting as my pregnancy glow to this. Like they were like, your skin, you're glowing, you're this. Mm, no, no, it's this. Um, and I think they make a mini of these. So if you're like scared to splurge on the big one, which you shouldn't be because it's beautiful, um, Try out one of the minis first and then you'll see why. You can even use this as a natural highlighter. I do recommend this for very, very oily skins or like newbies to the highlighting scene because it gives a very natural highlight to your cheekbones. Um, it's just the most beautiful powder ever. It's pricey, but I promise you guys it's worth it. This is probably three years old now. Yeah, it's probably three years old and look, I'm still working on it. So don't be scared. A little goes a long way and they last a long time. All right, uh, next is, um, I wanna go into the two brushes that are, are face brushes, but they're exclusive to Sephora. These are the Sephora brushes. Um, I've mentioned these, sorry, they're dirty because I just used them, but I mentioned these in my 2018 beauty favorites, like I mentioned, go check that blog post out, I will link it. Um, I love Sephora brushes, they've lasted forever on me, like I'm talking since college, like we're talking 10 years ago, like they're still a-okay. Um, these two were newer to my collection. I picked them up in the last year. The first one is the Pro Highlight Brush 98. It gives like the perfect amount of concentrated highlight. I love that. And for my mom makeup, I even use this as an eyeshadow brush to like slap on highlighter on my eye, eyes as eyeshadow. I love this brush. Like no other brush for highlighter compares. I just love it. You can even use it as like setting powder under the eyes. Like you can use this to just, if you don't powder your whole face and you just want to like powder certain areas because you just want to set down some shine if you're dry. This would be good for that. It's multi-purpose, but I use it for highlighter the most and I can't I can't stop using it for highlighter. I have not gone back to a fan brush in at least a year since I bought this. The second one, I talked about this as well. Oh, my computer's gonna die, great. <sighs> Let's see how far I can go. Okay, this is the uh, Sephora Pro 57 Concealer Brush. Uh, this is like what I said, a fingertip in a brush. It's so good at buffing out concealer under your eyes and on blemishes. If you really don't want to like get your fingers dirty or you just want more of an airbrushed finish, like this is so, so good. Um, I really just love this. If you don't want to use a beauty blender or you like the, the hassle of like wetting a beauty blender when you're getting ready in the morning, you're not by your sink, but you want that same effect, this brush is good. All right, guys, I need to get my charger because I'm afraid my computer's going to die. Insert the picture of this because I don't have it. I've never had it. It's something new to me that I'm ordering for the sale. It is the NARS Liquid Blush. I want to pick up shade Torrid. I had seen Desi Perkins. I'm sure you guys know her. She's like huge on YouTube and beautiful. She looks like JLo. Um, she used the shade Torrid in one of her recent like light, easy makeup tutorials. Um, I love that shade on her. What the blush, the um, powder blush in Torrid seems really intense for me, but it seems like the liquid, obviously you can control the intensity. And I'm really loving the convenience of creams and liquid products lately. Also for summer, I think it will look really pretty. And lastly, I've seen so many makeup artists and friends of mine actually recommend that NARS liquid blush in the orgasm shade. Um, orgasm, the powder blush, it doesn't really do much on my skin. It's a little too light. So I think Torrid will be, will be a better um, match for me, but I really wanna try that one. If you are lighter skin than me, you might wanna pick up uh, Orgasm. It's got like great reviews, um, okay? This I don't have, but I tried a sample of and I'm gonna be picking it up during the sale. It is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. It's in the blue, purple tub. It's new. It's not there like, they have another like luminous, deep moisture, moisturizer in more of a square purple tub. This is like, looks like the water cream, but it's in a purple tub. It's called the Dewy Skin Cream. Brand new. Um, my skin has been a lot drier. I. Let me preface this with saying, I just finished up my second water cream by Tatcha. I really love water cream if you're normal to oily. It is a beautiful moisturizer. The fact that I repurchased it, to, like, to, well, I repurchased it once, but I went through two tubs of it, tells you a lot since I am always trying 
products. Um, but what I found is I recently started using Retin-A again now that I'm no longer breastfeeding and whatnot. Um, and it is making my skin so dry and flaky again. Like that's just part of the process of using retinol, um, for a little while. So the water cream is like not enough moisture anymore. So I got the sample of the dewy skin cream and it's beautiful. It smells just like water cream, which I love that scent. I just find it so nice to use at night. I don't think it's as moisturizing as Tatcha's like more expensive deep hydrating moisturizer. I don't remember. I don't know the name of that one, um, but it's like in between, like not as like gel like as the water cream, but not as heavy duty as their like really heavy duty moisturizer. It's like right in the middle in my opinion. So um, I would be, be picking up that moisturizer. And then let's move now into, I guess lips, huh? It's the only thing I got. I only got one product from lips and you're probably gonna know. Any lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. Hands down, she makes the best lipsticks. They last the longest. The shade range is beautiful. The formulas, whether you get the Kissing, which is the more creamy formula, or the Matte Revolution, which is obviously her matte formula, they are both just stunning formulas. I wish I could stock my Pro Kit with just Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks because they're just the best. Um, if you are looking for my top three recommendations for like, I think universally flattering shades, number one, Bitch Perfect. I use this on a lot of brides. Uh, it's my holy grail shade from her. I'm almost done with my first two, but lasted me a really long time. I'm gonna be repurchasing a second. My second favorite is Pillow Talk. I think that one's beautiful, and unless you're very fair, would look beautiful on most skin tones. I also, if you're looking for a great nude, I really like Nude Kate if you like these more beigey nudes. Um, if you are more of like, I need a pinky nude, or you have dark brown hair, I would go with the Kim KW. It's more of a pinky beige. Let's get into hair. I just have a couple products I wanna recommend. Both of these I am using today. I'm finally at a point where this shorter hair can be curled, which I was dying for. Like when I was curling it before, it was looking so short, and like I just felt like I looked like Christopher Columbus. So here we are. Okay, um, one, the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Go Big Treatment. This is not the same as their thickening spray, which I also used to use and really liked, but the thickening spray, um, first of all, it's a different formula. Like the thickening spray is clear. This is like a white creamy color. This goes on your hair when it's damp and you blow dry it and it gives like the strands, it increases the, the dimension of each of your strands from root to tip. So that's what it's doing when it's giving you that thickening feel. Um, it doesn't make your hair feel dry or crunchy like the thickening spray used to do. Thickening spray almost felt to me like I just doused my hair with hairspray. It worked, it gave body and volume, but it left it always feeling a little dry. This doesn't leave that dry feeling unless you like really go ham on it. Um, but I really like that this gives that volumizing feel and look without feeling dry. And yeah, I just really like what this does for my hair and totally recommend purchasing it. The next one is, you guys know I'm like a huge fan of texture sprays. Um, I've used probably every texture spray at Sephora, at least the popular ones. I've used Whey, I've used IGK, I've used the Dry Bar Triple Sec, um, I've used, God, I mean, you name it, I've tried it. Um, I've tried so many, I can't even remember. But anyway, this is my most recent favorite and it's the Moroccan oil one. It's their dry texture spray, straightforward. I think it's pretty new, but it smells like Moroccan oil, which I feel like a lot of people love that scent and it does a great job of giving texture. Um, I also love the IGK one. This one isn't as like textury as IGK. It's also not as textury as triple sec. So I kind of like that. It gives the texture without being like really drying. So um, if you love texture sprays, but find that like IGK or triple sec from dry bar is a little too much for you, try this one, it's really good. So this is actually something I have never tried and I just added it to my cart recently after watching a video from um, somebody, oh, I forgot her name. Oh, Erin Williams, she's a mom, family blogger. But she just recently tried uh, Ren's, you know, Ren's skincare. They have this 
serum called Keep Young and Beautiful Instant Firming Beauty Shot. And it's a uh, gel serum that firms, lifts, and plumps your skin. Basically, it's hyaluronic acid based, which I'm a big fan of. Um, but it also is supposed to like firm. Hyaluronic acid is good at binding water to the skin and making your skin look plump and like youthful. But this also is supposedly going to firm a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm in the market for a new hyaluronic acid based serum, so I'm going to be trying this one. And then now let's get into my favorite category, which is eye stuff. And I'm not going to go too nuts because um, I kind of talked about most of these except for one thing a lot on my channel and on my Instagram, but whatever. Um, anyway, if you missed the recent, the recent Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, these are two items that were on sale for 50% off. So if you didn't get to pick those two up. The first one is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. It's what I have on today. I really think it does a great job of giving major drama to my lashes. I don't have falsies on. This is just a very thickening and lengthening mascara. It is not for the faint of heart. It's not for those who want wispy, fluttery lashes. It's dramatic. That's all I can say about it. But if you like dramatic mascara, which I think you can never go wrong with dramatic lashes. Um, they really need to give this one a try. They do make a tiny version. I don't know if Sephora sells it. I know Ulta has a mini of it, um, but I just purchased one of these from the Ulta sale, so I won't be purchasing it on Sephora. But um, if you did miss that sale, definitely pick it up with Sephora. It's so lovely. I just love it. Um, okay, next item that was in the, Sephora, the Ulta sale that if you missed, you should definitely pick it up from Sephora now is the Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow. It's my go-to brow gel. It's like a tinted fiber-based brow mascara. Everyone and their mother has talked about this, I feel like. It's just been around for ages, and they did, in case you just live under a rock or you don't really watch a lot of beauty videos, they used to only have three shades of this, but in the last year, they've expanded it. There's a ton more shades now. I use shades one or two, depending what I feel like. One is more cool-toned, two has a hint more warmth. Today, I'm using shade two. Um... I don't know. I just really love it. I just, I can't say enough good things about this. I think it's better than the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel that just recently came out. That one's good. This one dries down more matte and I really like that. Uh, next brow product. <laughs> just flew it. Hold on. Um, it is another benefit product. It's Precisely My Brow. I go back and forth on Precisely and the Goof Goof Proof Brow. <laughs> If they're on sale um, or like Ulta has a flash sale or something like I will go back and forth with either one but my preferred one is the um, precisely my brow I like the thinner tip but if you have very thick full brows goof proof is also equally good the colors you know depending which one you get there's no difference um, if you get shade two in one shade two in the other one is the exact, exact same it's just the difference of the tip of the pencil One's a little chubbier than the other one. I prefer the thin one. I feel like I get crisper lines and more definition. Um, my brows are moderately full. They're not thick, but they're not thin at all. So that's why I kind of go back and forth with both. But um, if I had to pick between those two, I would go with precisely my brow first. The next one I have with me right now, but I will be purchasing it during the sale. It's Marc Jacobs Eyeliners. I have Coco, I think it's called. It's like a brown shimmer. I talked about that a lot in the summer. It's somewhere on my channel, you can find it. Um, it's a shimmery brown bronze. I love that eyeliner. It's a brown, but it gives me enough definition on my eyes that it doesn't make me look tired, which some browns can, because I have brown eyes already. Like It has to be the right shade of brown, otherwise it just does nothing, it makes me look tired. Um, but that brown really does good. Or maybe it's called Rococo? Something like that, but I'll link it below. Um, I'm actually gonna pick up the black, which is just their blacker. Um, I've talked about other eyeliners in the past that I've really liked, but there's something about the Marc Jacobs ones now that I'm a mom and I'm like not really like having a lot of time to do my makeup and look in the mirror and touch things up a lot. Those Marc Jacobs ones seem to hold up very well and like don't smudge and have a lot of color payoff. So I'm willing to invest in a plain black eyeliner like that. That's maybe a little more expensive because I feel like it lasts a long time. Um, okay, and then the last product that I do have that I bought, actually I bought this during the November VIB sale, and I can't believe I bought it because it's an expensive brand, but I also bought the Natasha Denona Camel Palette around the same time that I bought this. Uh, sorry, this is the Pat McGrath 
Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition palette. This packaging is just so extra, by the way. Like, seriously. Um, sorry, I don't want you to see the mirror. But those are the colors. They don't, I mean, they obviously look loved. Um, but they're nothing, like, groundbreaking when it comes to colors. Actually, like, actual the colors aren't that, like, groundbreaking. It's the texture, the pigmentation, the blendability, the fact that they don't muddy together. Like, it is worth it. Like, let me give a shout out to my girl, Erin's Makeup Euphoria. Okay, she convinced me that the Pat McGrath eyeshadows were better than Natasha Denona because I was like, oh, I don't, like, I like the Natasha Denona Camel Palette. Don't get me wrong, it's really pretty, it's very wearable, but I don't think it's worth the price. I think they're just nice. They're better than average, but I, I don't think they're worth the price. Um, so I was really hesitant to try Pat McGrath because I feel like Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona are in that same very expensive eyeshadow category. Same with Viseart or Visart. Like, I also wasn't like blown away with those. Um, so she was like, no, really try it. Like, you won't regret it, I promise you. And she was right. It's like the best hybrid of the newer now Urban Decay formulas that you'll find in the Born to Run palettes and um, I don't know, some of the more newer Urban Decay formulas. Um, it's got like that same intensity, but yet the creaminess of Lorac without the fallout. Um, the creaminess and without the fallout of Lorac or Anastasia Beverly Hills, but with the blendability and ability to not muddy together like MAC shadows. It's like the perfect hybrid of every eyeshadow out there. It's just beautiful. Like they are really worth it. I don't know how else to say it. Like this is like, uh, I can't. I'm sorry guys, like nothing I'm gonna say is going to justify how beautiful. Can you even see this here? It's just crazy. Like these only, it just looks like regular shadows here. You have to just order it, okay? Just order it, you'll see it's worth it. They're beautiful. You won't wanna return it like you will with Viseart, Natasha Denona, or what's the other one I said? I don't know, whatever. Point is, it's an expensive eyeshadow, but I think they're worth it. Okay, so, okay, uh, I think that's all the items I have. Let me just make sure my list is completed here. I hope that gives you a nice little stepping off point for some new items you might not have tried from Sephora. And if you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And let me know what you plan on picking up from this sale in the comments because I can always add a few more goodies. So thank you guys so much for checking out my channel and I'll talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.